Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Nita Keeping It Raw. I'm going to start out with a word of prayer. Father God, I thank you for my one-hour prayer hour time that just recently ended at 1 p.m. Uh, I did make a vlog about it. Hopefully, you all can check it out. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And Lord, you know, I'm getting ready to make this cake, so uh, <laughs> help me out with this. So right now, guys, I'm getting ready to start sifting my flour. I need three cups, but I have two right now. So that's what I'm getting ready to start doing. Sifting the flour. Give me a minute and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I got my all my flour, three cups, already been sifted, as you can see. It's been sifted and I'm getting ready to add... Uh, three teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and I'm going to get my whisk and whisk this up. So now I'm getting ready to whisk up my dry ingredients, which is my three cups of sifted flour my three teaspoons of baking powder and my half a teaspoon of salt and these are my dry ingredients and I wanted to let you all know that uh, with my flour I always use a cake flour always okay so like I said it's already been incorporated together my dry ingredients so alright so I got my uh, my butter two sticks of butter and I did let it get room temperature Turn that off for a minute and I'm going to add my sugar in here and I use this uh, pure cane sugar it's all natural it's just not white and it's called marina pure cane sugar and it takes less sugar than white sugar so I started using this about mm, I say maybe about two or three months ago and I find it works very well with uh, my baking and then I got to grab a spatula of course put the rest of the sugar in here with this butter oh yeah and then I'll move this out of my way and get to working it out so I'm going to incorporate this so as I'm mixing this, I'm going to go down the sides of my bowl and pull off everything that needs to be pulled off. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Then I'll take my, my spatula. And it says stressed is dessert spelled backwards yeah so that's what we gonna do we working it out so I'm gonna start uh, dropping my eggs in and the reason that they're broken is because I got those little white membranes out of there nobody wants to eat that All right so You know, I could have had one of those mixers where everything mixed up together itself, but I, I enjoy the labor. Let's 
sit that there. I enjoy the labor. I really do. And I used to make pound cakes with a whisk. But after I had my surgery, there's certain things I just wouldn't put stress on my body. Yeah, I just wouldn't put that stress on my body. So, yeah, that's what I do. So I'm going to get this all mixed up, and then I'm going to start putting in my vanilla extract and my lemon extract. All right, so now i am got to kind of the consistency that I want, and I'm good with that. Like I said, I'm not using the white sugar. Remember? I'm using the raw cane sugar. And it's brown, so that's why it looks like a cake mix already. But it's actually butter, sugar, and uh, I'm getting ready to put in my uh, lemon extract. And I use uh, my own discretion on that. But if you want to... I I can tell you all, you can do like a couple tablespoons of it. I just like to taste the flavor of my cake. And I'm going to uh, jot down a little vanilla. I couldn't afford to get the big jar of vanilla because vanilla extract is pure vanilla extract. It's very expensive. I guess you all wonder, like, why is she putting lemon extract in there? I mean, you won't be able to really taste the lemon, but you'll know it's there because the vanilla is going to overpower that lemon, even though I'm making a chocolate uh, triple layer uh, yellow batter cake. That's why. Okay, so I got one of my secret ingredients that I use in my cake to make it really moist. I can't tell you. If I tell you, I have to kill you. <laughs> Let's turn it up some. Get it done. Oh, it smells wonderful. Wow. Coming along. I'm doing all my wedding ingredients. So next, I'm going to have my milk here. I'm getting ready to do a little bit at a time. Then I'll start adding my flour. All right, so I uh, just added some milk. I'm gonna loosen this up a little bit. Yep, loosen it up and start adding the flour in here. Flowers being incorporated in. Sorry about the finger, guys. Got enough milk in there. Uh, uh, coming along. I got my flour over here. And I'm just adding it as I go. liquid to it when I add some more flour. So we're getting ready to add some more flour right now. Okay. I think me and this spoon gonna give up in a minute. Alright. Put that back in there and get ready to incorporate this. All right, so I add the last of the flour, and it's getting a little bit 
that's it. So, yeah, that's empty. All this flour has been sifted. Yep. And if, remember, guys, the best cake is the uh, cake flour. The best. All right, we're getting ready to add a little milk in here because it's, uh, all right, that should loosen everything up. Low, so I won't splatter flour and stuff everywhere. You know, some people they just they cook good, but they're not clean cook. Uh, here we go. I'm popping it up. We don't want no lumpy cake. I'm gonna finish it up. So I've added some more vanilla extract in here. So after I tasted it, I wanted to taste that, you know, that flavor, that pure vanilla. So you see I got it, I'm mixing it in a little bit. It looks good, doesn't it, guys? Oh, yeah. So get my pans together. I'm going to line them up. And uh, put my parchment paper in there and my non-stick spray. And we're going to bake these at 350 degrees for about one hour. So it's going to be three layers. Now, if it was a whole pound cake or something like that, it would be much longer. For one hour on 350 for three pans, it'll be good. All right, so it's all ready and it's all set. And I'm getting ready to get my pans together. And I will see you all later. I thank you for spending the time with me to make a yellow batter homemade Hershey's chocolate icing cake. Let me taste it. Let you guys know what it tastes like. Mm -mm. That is good. Okay, guys, if you like this, give me a thumbs up. It means so much to me if you did. All right. Talk to you guys sooner than later. Bye-bye.